the angels in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen the angel of the lord declared unto mary and she conceived of the holy spirit hail mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen behold the handmaid of the lord be it done unto me according to thy word Hail Mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen and the word was made flesh and dwelt amongst us hail mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen pray for us o holy mother of god that we may be made worthy of the promises of christ let us pray o forth we beseech thee o lord thy grace into our hearts that we to whom the incarnation of christ thy son was made known by the message of an angel May by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord amen May the divine assistance remain always with us amen May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace amen Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit amen dear brothers and sisters we offer this mass for the soul of leon vas on the 7th day mass also as a thanksgiving mass by chiefy and jyoti joseph as they celebrating their silver jubilee of wedding 
I also pray for all the parishioners who are celebrating their birthdays and anniversaries today. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. My dear friends, you all know that yes, we hurt God and we hurt our neighbors because we sin. And likewise, as we celebrate the Eucharist, we have got this beautiful part in the beginning of the Eucharist called the penitential rite where God forgives our sins, where He plays our conscience, where He plays all our heart open before Him, telling Lord, yes, I have sinned, I confess that I have sinned, and Lord sends us His grace that we may be worthily partaking in the Holy Eucharist. So for a while, let us recall all our sins and failures, and let us ask forgiveness for all our sins. With a humble and contrite heart, we say, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Let us place all our needs and intentions before the Lord. O God, who manifest your almighty power above all by pardoning and showing mercy, bestow, we pray, your grace abundantly upon us and make those hastening to attain your promises as to the treasures of heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Zechariah. The Lord of hosts says this, There will be other peoples yet, and citizens of great cities, and the inhabitants of one city will go to the next and say, Come, let us go and entreat the favor of the Lord, and seek the Lord of hosts. I am going myself, and many peoples and great nations will come to seek the Lord of hosts in Jerusalem and to entreat the favor of the Lord. The Lord of hosts says this, 
In those days, ten men of nations of every language will take a Jew by the sleeve and say, We want to go with you, since we have learned that God is with you. The Word of the Lord. Our response shall be, God is with us. Kindly repeat, God is with us. On the holy mountain in this city, cherished by the Lord, the Lord prefers the gates of Zion to all Jacob's dwellings. Of you are told glorious things, O city of God. Our response God is with us. Babylon and Egypt I will count among those who know me. Philistia, Tyre, Ethiopia, these will be her children, and Zion shall be called mother, for all shall be her children. Our response, God is with us. It is He, the Lord Most High, who gives each his place. In his register of peoples he writes, These are her children, and while they dance, they will sing, and you all will find their home. Our response, God is with us. Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah. Bend my heart to your will, O Lord, and teach me your law. Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory be to you, O Lord. As the time drew near for him to be taken up to heaven, Jesus resolutely took the road for Jerusalem and sent messengers ahead of him. These set out and they went into a Samaritan village to make preparations for him. But the people would not receive him because he was making for Jerusalem. Seeing this, the disciples James and John said, Lord, do you want us to call down fire from heaven to burn them up? But he turned and rebuked them and they went off to another village. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, the prophecy from the first reading today, that is from the book of Zechariah, we saw it being fulfilled in today's Gospel. We hear people gathering and saying that, yes, God is with us. And we are marching towards the place of Zion, that is, place of God's worship, Jerusalem. Likewise, here we see when time comes for Jesus to be taken up to heaven, he faces towards Jerusalem. He goes out towards Jerusalem, that is, the place of his destiny, where he would give up his life, where he would win salvation for all of us. And yes, 
not only he but all his disciples Jews as well as the many Gentiles who were there in the place of Galilee would follow him to Jerusalem and likewise the prophecy is fulfilled but however we have this small scenario during this passage saying that when they entered this Samaritan town they did not receive him they did not receive him here we see a beautiful aspect of faith God never imposes faith on us rather he proposes faith to us he gives us an option he gives us a free will to choose and that's what he gives us he never imposes rather he proposes come follow me it's up to us to decide yes I want to follow the Lord or not it's very clear and there are two approaches here we could very clearly distinguish one a merely worldly approach that is taken by the disciples James and John as soon as they see that these people are rejecting us they say Lord let us call down fire from heaven they have seen Jesus working wonderful miracles they have seen Jesus multiplying bread and now they are very sure that even if we want to destroy these people because they are rejecting we can very well do so because Jesus is there with us we can call down fire from heaven the same thing happened for the Sodom and Gomorrah the fire from heaven came and consumed it so likewise they must have thought the same thing let's destroy this city let's destroy this village because they have rejected us but Jesus thought in a divine way Jesus thought in a very optimistic way he says that yes I come and give you it's your part to choose as also in the prophet prophets is written very well I give you water and fire choose water I give you life and death choose life so our God always offers us a choice it's not that he's not offering us a choice it's not that he's compulsory forcing us to be his followers no as I said he always proposes it's our job to respond now you may be wondering we are already Christians we are already Catholics what more to respond when we say we follow Jesus when we say we respond to his call we respond at every moment there are so many situations every day of our life where we make choices we choose either to go to the good way or we choose either to take the wrong way or the bad way and whenever we take the right way we take the way of truth we say to the Lord yes Lord I want to follow you we accept him but the moment we choose the wrong way at that very moment we reject him like this Samaritan village we reject him but likewise as we know in John chapter 3 verse 17 very beautifully a God tells that God sent his son not to condemn the world but to save the world and that's why even after rejecting him so many times because of our sins of our failures he's still there still waiting for us to turn back to him and to come to him so that he can save us all so our Lord is really merciful my dear friends and remember God is with us as you said in the psalm God is with us he is with us always it's our choice whether to turn back to him in our troubles whether to choose the right path along with him so let us ask the grace of God during this Eucharist that we may always choose to follow him always choose the right path always choose to do good rather than do evil
Today, dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant us, O merciful God, that this our offering may find acceptance with you, and that through it the wellspring of all blessing may be laid open before us through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is to be right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ. Your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hand as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew Paul, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world. For by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we will be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Oswald Gracious our Bishop and all the clergy and religious. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, 
who have pleased you throughout the ages. You may merit to be co-hast to eternal life and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. The Savior's command and form by divine teaching are we all dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, you may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The kingdom, Lord Jesus Christ, has said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. And with your spirit. Dear friends, let us now offer each other the peace of Christ. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Desire and I long 
Let us pray. May this heavenly mystery, O Lord, restore us in mind and body, that we may be coherent in glory with Christ, to whose suffering we are united whenever we proclaim his death, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. So the Mass is ended, children of the Lord, take his word to others, and you Lord is Lovinas to St. Anthony, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O white lily of purity, sublime example of poverty, true mirror of humility, resplendent star of sanctity, O glorious St. Anthony, who didst enjoy the sweet privilege of receiving into thy arms the infant Jesus, I beseech thee, to take me under thy powerful protection, thou, in whom the power of working miracles shine forth among the other gifts of God. Have pity upon me and come to my aid 
In this my great need, we kindly make our petitions over here. Thanksgiving. Cleanse my heart from every disorderly affection. Obtain for me a true contrition for my sins and a great love of God and of my neighbor, that serving God faithfully in this life, I may come to praise, enjoy, and bless him eternally with thee in paradise. Amen. Pray for us, St. Anthony, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Most merciful Jesus, who has glorified in an admirable manner thy holy confessor, St. Anthony, by continued miracles, give us thy grace to feel assured that we shall obtain through his intercession and merits what we ask in confidence. We make this prayer to Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord Jesus be with you to defend you. May he be with you to sustain you. May he go before you to show you the way. May he follow you to guard you from above. May he bless you with the Father and the Holy Spirit who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Prayer to St. Michael St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him. We humbly pray and do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen.